Hey there everyone, I am Veilfire, better known as JM, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to just be detailing the change log uh, tab that we have here, but I'm going to specifically go over the quality of life changes. Smaller things that you're not going to really notice in terms of gameplay, at least right away. So, the first and foremost thing that is here is the added lost and found box in Mayor Lewis's house. This is used to retrieve items donated to failed special orders, lost quest items and tools, items from offline players, hats from children that have been turned into doves, and items left behind in the Stardew Valley Fair Grange display. So this is basically a way to get back items that you've lost and cannot retrieve in any other way, which is not really a huge thing, but at the same time it is big in the sense that it's going to save people a lot of time and a lot of frustration. So nice quality of life feature here. You can now sit on chairs, both place furniture and chairs that are part of the map. Not really a big one, again, but it's a cool little feature that just makes those... It's just... It's nice to see things like this. So it makes the furniture a little bit more usable, and I'm assuming that means couches too. So that's kind of nice. You can now place most furniture outside, so if you want to make an outdoor lounge, I guess, kind of nice. And that means that that bear statue doesn't have to be placed inside my shed anymore. You can now talk to people while mounted on a horse. I didn't know that wasn't a thing already, but cool. You can now donate items of different qualities to the same community bundle ingredients. So that's actually really helpful. Used to be that for things like the, um, I don't know specifically what, but I guess like the, I, I'll use the apples or the wheat as an example, the wheat from Marnie's bundle. You get the three different star qualities of wheat if you plant 10. Kind of screws that whole thing up. So it, dimming it down to a certain star quality, uh, I guess none, makes this really, really helpful. So that's actually a big quality of life change. You can no longer plant, plant fruit trees on tiles they won't be able to grow on. Saves you a lot of money. I do enjoy that. Improved game menus and HUD. The social tab now shows whether you talk to an NPC today. That is a feature I did notice as soon as I went in. They did show the two gifts per day thing, or week, but now they do show the chat box, uh, which chatting does affect friendship. If you chat with them at least once every two days, that means that your friendship will not go down. After that point, it will begin to diminish, albeit not quickly. Um, the cooking tab now shows the recipe for an item when you hover over it. The cooking tab now fades icons for recipes you know but haven't made yet. That's a good way to help track the achievement. The cooking and crafting tooltips now show the number produced. That's a cool little thing that doesn't really affect much. The inventory menu's organize button now combines partial item stacks. I mean, I guess that's cool. The inventory menu for a a chest chest now shows the community sensor button. Huh? I'm assuming that's there's supposed to be just one chest there, but maybe that's just me. The shipment screen now shows the unit price of shipped items instead of displaying the shipped quantity twice. I didn't know that was a thing. The quest log now shows an arrow in the morning when you have a pe when you have pending completed quests. Buff icons now subtly pulse when they're close to expiring. That is nice to know, actually. It's a feature in other games like Minecraft. When you have potion effects, they do pulse when they are disappearing. So it's nice to add something like that just as an indicator. Added a notification when you enter a farm building if the incubator is ready, but the building is at max capacity. That's cool. Honestly, didn't know that was a thing. The infestation indicator in the mines is now drawn alongside the floor number rather than replacing it. I do like that. It was kind of annoying to have the number just disappear. So improve shop menus. You can now press escape or control or B to move the held item to your inventory or drop it if you have no more room. That is actually pretty helpful. While holding a purchase, the inventory now highlights items you can stack it with. I honestly didn't realize that it didn't before. Improve sprinklers. Sprinklers now water slime hutch troughs. Oh, that's cool. And hose can no longer remove sprinklers. That actually is going to save people a lot of time and effort because it used to be that when you put down sprinklers, you had to put the little paths underneath them so that the sprinklers wouldn't get to torn up. I will say I don't know if they will still get rid of the scarecrows. If that isn't a thing, then it would be nice to see. So if Concerned 8, you somehow see this, then maybe do consider adding that as well. Improved Journey of the Prairie King. Progress can now be saved and resumed so it can be completed in multiple sessions. Thank you. Getting getting this achievement, the uh, 
wherever it winds up being. Get the um, whatever it is, the the get it finish it without dying one in one sitting, is hell. I just want to say that right now, as somebody who has finished that, it's terrible. You now also replay the original difficulty even if you've already completing it. Pre uh, previously, it would increase the difficulty automatically, which is now a new game plus mode. That is cool. Improved game options. Added an option to choose between multiple fish bite chime sounds. Added an option to mute farm animals and pets. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. You can now scale the UI independently of the view zoom. That is actually nice. Increase the maximum zoom from 120 to 200%. Improve various items. The jukebox now has a random setting. That is nice to have. Removing a crystallarium that isn't ready for harvest will not drop the gem that was placed in it. Thank you. I was getting tired of losing gems. You can now push chests containing items by holding the interact button on them with no tool equipped. The same way you could previously remove empty chests without using a tool. Improved inventory sorting. No longer changes tool order. Now sorts by quality too. That is nice. Now sorts names in alphabetical instead of reverse alphabetical order. Improve museum donation interactions. Clicking an item now grabs one instead of the whole stack. Pressing back while placing an item now returns it to the inventory instead of closing the whole UI. And other minor improvements which are not named I guess. So the quality of life changes in games typically aren't massive things that you would notice right away. And that is fairly true of this. You have to basically be looking for a lot of these things in order to notice that they would exist because it's not explicitly stated or like visible anywhere. So it is nice to have a, a look through this entire section of the change log. So hopefully this was, was able to show you some of you guys something that you didn't previously know was in this update because I will say there's a lot of things here that I wouldn't have noticed after looking through this update for at least a solid hour now. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. There's not really a whole lot to add I guess. In the comment section but if there's anything about the update that you want me to cover specifically there's a good chance i might be getting to it already or that somebody else already has so definitely be sure to keep that up and i'll be looking through all suggestions and i'll get to as many as i can with the time that i have which isn't a lot so so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing i'm on the road to a thousand subscribers right now so every little one counts even if you don't watch my videos, honestly. And you're in no way required to subscribe, only if you want to, obviously. But thank you very much for watching. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed me going through this entire changelog quality of life section. And I will see you guys in whatever I upload next. Peace out.